Welcome to our video on Michigan Lease and Landlord-Tenant Laws. As a landlord, it's essential to know your rights and responsibilities to manage your rental property well. With that in mind, here are some important points of landlord-tenant laws in the Great Lakes State. The lease agreement is the foundation of the landlord-tenant relationship. It's a legally binding contract between a landlord and tenant that establishes the terms of the rental relationship. The most common type of lease agreement is a one-year, fixed-term lease that terminates at the end of the lease term. This is often referred to as a standard lease agreement. In addition to the basic terms of the lease, there are some additional requirements that Michigan landlords must include in their lease. Landlords must include an address for the landlord where tenants can send legal notices. If the landlord collects a security deposit, the landlord must provide tenants with a walkthrough checklist documenting the property condition. All lease agreements must include specific language regarding the Truth in Lending Act. This must be in 12-point font and no smaller than one-eighth of an inch in height. Landlords must provide tenants with specific language from Michigan compiled laws regarding domestic violence. This can be included in the lease visible at the property or delivered directly to tenants. Whenever a security deposit is collected, landlords must provide tenants with a receipt that states the name of the financial institution where the security deposit is being held. The receipt also must include specific language about the tenant's requirement to provide the landlord with a forwarding address. Pursuant to federal law, if a property was built before 1978, tenants must be provided with a lead-based paint disclosure and pamphlet. Next, let's talk about key landlord-tenant laws in Michigan. In Michigan, the security deposit may not exceed one and a half months' rent. If the landlord collects a security deposit, tenants must be provided with a checklist documenting the condition of the property and a security deposit receipt. The security deposit must be returned to tenants within 30 days of the end of the tenancy. Michigan does not provide specific guidelines about entering a property for non-emergencies, but we always recommend that landlords provide at least 24 hours written notice. Michigan does not have a set limit for late fees. However, the fee should be reasonably related to the expenses incurred due to the late payment. Michigan landlords may require tenants to get renter's insurance, and we always encourage landlords to do this. Return payment fees may not exceed $25 if the amount is paid within seven days of receiving notice of the return check, or $35 if the amount is paid within 30 days of receiving notice of the return check. All Michigan landlords should be familiar with lease termination and renewal laws. Fixed-term leases terminate at the end of the term, unless otherwise stated in the lease agreement. Month-to-month -month leases can be terminated by either party with one month's notice. Michigan does not impose a limit on how much a landlord can increase rent. However, the lease should specify the procedures and notice requirements for rent increases. Michigan law requires landlords to maintain the rental property in a habitable condition. This includes ensuring essential services like plumbing, electricity and heating function correctly. Tenants must promptly notify landlords of any necessary repairs. Tenants in Michigan have specific rights, including the right to withhold rent if necessary repairs are not made within a reasonable time frame. Retaliation by the landlord against tenants is strictly prohibited. If a tenant fails to pay rent or violates the lease agreement, the landlord may initiate the eviction process. When doing so, landlords must adhere strictly to Michigan law, and landlords can never resort to self-help eviction methods, such as changing locks or shutting off utilities. Congratulations, you're now familiar with key lease laws and you're ready to create your Michigan lease. While the lease laws might sound complicated, keep in mind that our Michigan lease automatically includes all required disclosures and gives you state assist tips throughout the lease building process. Before you turn over possession of your rental, make sure you've screened all tenants, have an executed Michigan lease agreement, and you've collected the entire security deposit and first month's rent. As you manage your rental, remember that we have over 400 property management forms including Michigan state-specific forms covering everything from a Michigan walkthrough checklist to a Michigan demand for possession. 
Visit EasyLandlordForms.com to start your tenant screening. Create a Michigan lease agreement that's guaranteed to comply with all Michigan lease laws and access Michigan property management forms.